The Star Wars Holiday Special was a made-for-TV event that aired in 1978, one year after the release of A New Hope. It's notorious for being incredibly hard to find, and that's not by accident. George Lucas, the big man himself, is known to have been very unhappy with this production, going so far as to actually say, if I had the time and a sledgehammer, I would track down every copy of that show and smash it. Since it aired, it's never been rebroadcast or released on home video. If a TV special airs and no one's there to record it, did it ever happen at all? Even Harrison Ford seems to have no recollection of making this. Do you remember making this Christmas special? I think it was 1978. No, you don't remember it? The plot thickens. How could this be bad anyways? Look at the cast! Mark Hamill, Harrison himself, Carrie Fisher, the original C-3PO, Chewbacca, R2, and James Earl Jones. Man, they got everyone. I mean, how have I not seen this? It sounds amazing. No, that's it. I am getting to the bottom of this. Come on, George, loosen up a bit. I just want to see it. Don't be such a prude. I, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you give me a little kiss first or something. I just want to see the film, George. Well, now you're getting sassy with me. That's going to be two kisses now. See what happens when you sass me? You're a very persuasive man. Little kiss for daddy. See, was that so hard? All right, but uh, don't show it to anyone, okay? I'm not very proud of this. Be very careful with this. I can't have this leaking on the internet. John, do you love me like I love you? How can I love what isn't human? <laughs> this is even more dangerous than that time I tried to watch Dunstan checks in on Laserdisc. That monkey was not willing to cooperate. All right, let's be careful with this. Oh boy, here we go. Huh. Well, an okay start, I'd say. The first few seconds literally start off with a dogfight in the Millennium Falcon. You can't go wrong there. That's it, I'm turning back. Here we meet Han and Chewie, who are trying to get home from war for the Star Wars equivalent of Christmas. Or any winter-timed holiday, really. They call it Life Day. That's the spirit. You'll be celebrating Life Day before you know it. I don't know if a holiday celebration is what would be on my mind if my space vessel were about to be obliterated. The Star Wars Holiday Special, with Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. Oh, that's nice. They're actually giving the real names of all the people inside the costumes. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. It's nice to see them get credit for such an overall thankless job. R2-D2 as R2-D2. Oh, that's real nice. Give the guy in an air-conditioned monkey suit credit, but the poor underpaid dwarf who's got a roast in a tin can all day, screw him! So, after the beginning credits roll, we go to Chewbacca's... tree mansion? What? Chewbacca's like a rogue, dirty space animal, yet he lives in this nice house that looks straight off the set of a 1975 episode of The Price is Right. The film explains that this is actually Chewbacca's family, who are all waiting for him to... get back from war? I'm really glad they tackled this aspect of it. Because all I could think of during the action scenes in the first movie was, how's Chewbacca's kid doing? Is he getting good grades? Is he getting beat up in school? What are his interests? Yeah? We're already there then? I guess I'm gonna need the heavy duty for this one. The house is too immaculate. Chewbacca's supposed to live in a cave or something. They gotta must need a uh, real strong vacuum to get all the fur out of the rug. Also, the place looks expensive as This is the Star Wars equivalent of living in a penthouse on Central Park West. Where'd Chewie get the money for this? Charging for autographs after the war? <laughs> Something is very wrong here. Are you serious? Is there actually gonna be no dialogue here? Actually, for real? It's just gonna be these guys grunting at each other like cavemen for two hours? You know, I'm probably just being too cynical. I'm sure this is just one of the many brief vignettes in this vast universe, just getting a feel, you know? World building. They don't even seem to like each other. They look like they're just constantly making passive-aggressive jabs. That's it, I'm turning back. Even Grandpa's confused, and I'm pretty sure he got a copy of the script. Oh, is that what's, you know, on the bill for today then? All right, yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's normal. You said it. Hello, Marla. 
Oh look, it's Luke! Finally, a familiar face! We can get away from this Wookiee-themed Everyone Loves Raymond. Not now, R2. Yeah, this is very important! Shut up, literal slave wage tin can boy! We won't even credit! I, I don't know what it is, but Luke doesn't seem like himself here. Chewbacca? Yeah, we'll bring him to the screen, I wanna say hello to him. Oh, he's not there yet, is that it? Well, all I can tell you is that uh, he and Han left here on schedule. If he's not there now, they're way overdue. God forbid he's in a vat of acid somewhere in the Mojave Desert, but I would know nothing about that. It's just taking him a little bit longer to get there, that's all. He'll make it. Oh, is that right, Luke? Well, you seem a tad too confident in that little assumption. No! And he was never seen again, until in 1996 when he resurfaced under a different name in Phoenix, Arizona. The end. Happy Life Day. Well, good thing we solved nothing here. It appears the story in this special keeps itself moving forwards through this 1970s wood-paneled computer the Wookiees have. Just randomly, the kid Wookiee, who goes by Lumpy, very fitting, will log on to the computer and a new scene will start. This particular scene takes place at the business of an average galactic citizen as an Imperial trooper stops by to browse. I suppose you want to see my identification. She did it all by herself. In fact, you might say she did it by hand. Solo. Get off the stage! Besides shaving and hair trimming, it's guaranteed to lift stains off clothing, faces, and hands. I'll take it. Good, I thought you would. Now, uh, would you like to pay me something for it, or...? I said, I'll take it. That's a load off my mind. I thought I might embarrass you when I told you to accept it as a gift. Just take no for an answer, you creep. I don't like embarrassing people. I don't like being embarrassed myself. That's why I don't know. Oh, yeah? Like Did someone uh, forget to turn off the camera? This guy's just... Well, he just he's, keeps on going. Then, just as soon as that scene ends, we cut to Vader, who menacingly says that he will search every house in the galaxy to find Han and Chewie. Hmm. Tonal difference as much? And just as soon as that happens, we cut immediately back to Chewbacca's family and find the mother watching a cooking show. Hello. Oh my god, actually though, just like everything in this special, it goes on for at least 10 minutes too long. I'm going to be using the tenderest cut of the panther, the loin. Sci-fi thrills! Is a kitchen the best place for a Wookiee anyways? You'd be spending as much time picking hairs out of your food as you would eating it. Well, you'd need a hairnet for your whole dang body, Mama Wookie. Where are you gonna get that? Target don't sell that. Th this is the furthest thing from Star Wars that could ever exist. It's baffling. Everything people liked about the original films is absent here. The action, the characters, the story, the grittiness, the uh, anything besides this. Very nice. No, I get it. After seeing the reception of the original trilogy, I can see how they would realize it needed more Chewbacca's wife cooking. It's a, it's a natural progression. Hi, Ichi. I brought you that proton pack. Is this all the big hello I get? <laughs> On second thought, no hello was much better. In the next chapter of our saga, the old man from earlier comes over for undisclosed reasons to set some stuff up for the Wookiee family. They should have just been honest and called this the Chewbacca family special because that's what it is. I thought you might like this. One of those, uh, oh, it's a real, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a, uh... Go on. I'll wait. Wow. <laughs> You know what I mean. Well, actually, I don't know what you mean by that. Don't worry, it's not over yet, though. The next scene is Princess Leia and C-3PO doing their taxes. Take the halls with boughs of holly. And then, back at the house, they're found by stormtroopers. You know, somehow the tension just doesn't translate right when it's filmed in the style of Family Matters. Also, the old guy in this scene becomes Rodney Dangerfield for like five entire minutes. I never leave the shop without my identification. It's, uh, it's very important, just in times like this. I just found my identification. The picture you're looking at right now was taken quite a few years ago. That's uh, one of me. I've gained quite a bit of weight since then. <laughs> if you weren't so relaxed right now, I'd think you might be up to something. Yeah, see? No guilty man would say that. Oh man, this is getting real tense. Chewie's family is on the verge of getting found out. What? What's happening? Why? Why? In 
case you didn't know, that is actually the band, Jefferson Starship. It just happens, it's like a full-on four-minute music video. Hey, but don't get me wrong, this is probably like the best part of the movie, because Jefferson Starship is awesome. It's just so jarring that it's even in here at all. I always knew these guys were ahead of their time. Like, way ahead. <laughs> the trooper is just sitting there genuinely enjoying it. It is, I, it's funny to me. He's like, wow, Starship rocks. I knew you'd like it. Your work here is finished. And seriously, if I have to listen to you play We Built This City and the Star Destroyer one more time... You know, I don't even really know what's going on anymore, but in the spirit of random things happening all the time, now we're in a cartoon. As you can see in this timeline, Han didn't make it out of the trash compactor in time. As is usually the case in any film-related, baffling travesty, it slowly becomes more and more of a fever dream over time. Like the writers just started to trip out or something. It'll be easy to find the ship you seek. Like, randomly, while the stormtroopers are still in his house, Lumpy starts watching a tutorial video. We are watching a literal tutorial video with him. Yes, you have that right. It is an actual tutorial video for a fictional device being played on an action-oriented sci-fi holiday special. How? I think if you had the device Lumpy has, you could actually put it together by watching this. No joke. It goes on for three and a half painstaking minutes. ...of the 10,000 terminals on your circuit breaker module is marked in a particular color. Yeah, you thought I was joking, didn't you? <laughs> like a rainbow. Thought I was making it all up to be funny, huh? To, ...to the wires with the corresponding colors. I wish I were making it up. Red goes to red. Yeah, okay, what's the next step, Daddy? Oh, I ain't got all day. Now, watch me closely. Oh, thank God, he's having a stroke. Well, come on, we're nearing the end at least. That'll be the last non sequitur, right? Just one more round, friend. Oh my God! Is that me, Arthur? I can't do it. I can't make it. I can't watch any more of this. Of all the things I did not expect from this, which at this point is not much, B. Arthur Musical was pretty high up on that list. Uh, don't worry, it's okay though, because at least she does this. You stay just as long as you want. That's it, I'm turning back. B. Arthur's entire career was building up to this moment. Ugh, I don't need to see his enjoyment of whatever's happening here. It's just too weird, dude. Oh, he's going in for more, what the Why are they showing this? Oh. Of course! That scene's over now. We're just back to the house. Nothing to see here, folks. We didn't just see a golden girl pouring moon juice into a volcano head. Oh god, I'm serious. I can't stand it. It makes me sick. Oh no. What are you gonna do? Lumpy! Lumpy, get out of there! Oh god, the tutorial was for nothing! Run, Lumpy! Run! He's gonna grab you! Eventually, Han and Chewie do get back home, and they use some masterful tactics to disarm the Stormtrooper. That was an unfortunate chain of events. Oh, come on, stop! Oh, God, knock it off! That's gross! And may the Force be with you. All right, everyone! He said it! We can go home now! Give bags at the door! Just as life day begins, life itself ends. The Wookiees now begin their annual exodus into space. Merely one in three Wookiees will survive this journey. All of you are an important part of my life, pal. I'm glad I could be here. Also, just curious, when am I getting paid? We celebrate a day of peace, a day of harmony. And so, they celebrated their blasphemous religion in peace. The end. Absolutely fascinating. That's it. That's all. I believe I've reviewed the worst piece of Star Wars content in existence. And you know what that means. I'm coming home. All right, Vader, I'm done. Come at me. What? Why isn't it working? It's useless. I've cut the feed. <laughs> 
You're pretty smart for a toad, huh? Now you've seen it. The monster inside of me. Now you understand. You feel my pain. And now you're gonna help me. Help you? Help you do what? Help me destroy the only thing worse than the Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> That's impossible. I've seen everything there is to see. What more do you want from me? Aren't you forgetting something? Perhaps on purpose? Something deep down you don't want to remember? Possible. They destroyed every last copy in the war! It was the only way the galaxy could be free! If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. I, I don't know, I just didn't see it. They must have cloaked it for me with Sith mind tricks. It's almost complete. Why do you think you were here? Because he wanted me to play poopy games for laughs and giggles! Just laughs and giggles! Poor naive boy. It was just a distraction. The anger you felt all this time was extracted, funneled, and used to rebuild this. There are millions of people just like you all over the galaxy, feeding the Empire's evil wishes. One Microsoft point at a time. Huh. I was wondering what these were for. Well then why are you here? Why me? What's my part in this if there's millions of people involved? I'm nothing special. I'm just another cog in the cosmic machine. Oh, that's where you'd be wrong, silly boy. Don't you know by now? Can't you feel it in your heart? You have something one of a kind that can stop this. It's in you, John. You can fix this. You'll come to see it my way in time. You're one crazy old man, Georgie, and also unexpectedly smelly. But I'm in. Our project is almost complete, my lord. She shall be resurrected in no time. Excellent. Impossible. How did you manage to get up here? Let's just say I made a little connection back at home base. So, now you see the true power of the dark side. Mm, no, not quite. It's more of a situation where I've crashed my ship into your ship and now they're connected and, and now I'm here. Payback time. This, well, I'm a firm believer that uh, how you use it is the important step. How can your skin possibly resist the damage of a cyst blade? It can. Do it! Finish him! No. I won't be like you. I said do it! And for what? Someone else will just make an even bigger Star Wars Connect. And truth be told, I don't even think the size plays into it! Is the disc still small? Did you make an equally large Xbox 360 to accommodate it? It all seems so impractical. You dare defy the will of the Empire? What, what, what do you want from me? Why do this? Because I want to see people all around the galaxy do the funny on solo dance! Oh god, no! And I will be there to watch as every last person gets frustrated because the controls almost work but never quite do what they're supposed to do! Impossible evil! What wretched part of the galaxy did you spawn from? Los Angeles. No! And after this, you will go to my chambers, and I will watch you try to navigate the menus! Bird Henry again. Why'd you save me back there? You didn't have to. It doesn't make sense. And I mean, Jacques only responds to people with a good heart. Because, John, you're a friend. An old friend. A friend? Can't you feel it in your heart? You have something one of a kind. 
friend. Take my mask off, John. One last time. Let me look on you with my own eyes. Aaron? John. What, what are you doing in a Darth Vader outfit? I just, I just found it. Dude, where did you get an Imperial Star Destroyer? I want it on uh, eBay. Any downsides? Yeah, um, part of the ship came off, so some space leaks in every so often. Anything else? Raccoons. At least five. I've seen four, but there, there's people that say that there's like a spotted one that I haven't seen. I, I don't get it. I mean, why go through all this? What was the point? I just wanted to play a game with you. Like old times. Well, you had my phone number. You could just call me. You know me. I never wanted to take the easy way. I was enslaved for six months. Is that funny? Is that was my real life? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. It's okay. I made a big thing out of it. Put it on my channel. It turned out all right. Yeah, you know that's pretty good. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you've been doing good too. I see. Yeah, yeah, it seems like we're all in a pretty good place, huh? Yeah. Wow. John, I, I have something to tell you. What is it, Aaron? I'm a poo poo, pee pee, fart, diaper, baby, stinky, duty <laughs> brain. Looks like you shouldn't have let me write your lines. <coughs> oh, Aaron. <coughs> Aaron. 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 <coughs> What's up? Are you all right? Yeah. Well, polio. But yeah, um, for now, like everything's good. Okay, let me ask you something. You want to do the dance for old times' sake? I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah! <laughs> <laughs> It feels as if the balance has been restored to the galaxy, or at least to a very niche part of the internet. May the force uh, be with you. Ah, <coughs> oh, not again.